Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my mega park. The park is uh, getting more and more finished, so what I did was that I gave the park to several of the of, uh, members on my Discord and uh, I asked them to look for anything that could easily be polished in a quick way. And uh, that gave me a huge list of things to still uh, implement in the park. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do in this episode. I probably won't get to do all the points because there's so many, but uh, I think it will really help to uh, make the park look more uh, polished, to make it look nicer in uh, several areas. Anyway, uh, what I want to begin with is uh, this area over here. Um, it's, uh, it's not really finished yet. I think this is the last area of the park that really needs to be uh, filled. So uh, that's what I'm going to do uh, first. Alright, that's the first part done. Now, something else uh, I got a suggestion from someone is to uh, name a restaurant after Bad Snacks. I think that's a really good idea because uh, I really like the music from Bad Snacks. And that's what uh, the music you hear in uh, most of these uh, episodes, uh, especially in the fast forward sections. So uh, I think here at the end of this uh, little roundabout, I think this will be a nice place for a little restaurant called uh, Bad Snacks. Alright, that's the Bad Snacks restaurant uh, done. I think it would also be good to have another food place uh, around here. Um, Alright, another area that needs some work is this uh, bridge. Uh, what I want to do is add some nice arches under it uh, using the Hardline Twister track. And uh, yeah, I'll see uh, how it goes. Maybe I'll need to raise the bridge a little bit, but uh, I'll see that uh, as I go.
Okay, I think that's a big improvement over the original bridge. Uh, I've also hidden some uh, litter bins on it by uh, yeah, just just making the paths uh, which had the litter bins on them invisible. The guests will still be able to use them, but uh, they will simply not be visible now. And other than that, um, I also uh, put some uh, lamps on the invisible track and the invisible uh, paths using a trick with an invisible uh, cube path. So yeah, I think uh, this is a big, uh, big improvement. No, there's uh, another location which has a bridge. I think this area could also use some lamps. So uh, I will do the same trick here, which I did with the the other bridge to add some lamps uh, to it. Okay, um, here's uh, another area that is still missing uh, decorations like lamps, uh, benches. So yeah, this is another uh, thing that uh, can easily be uh, improved. Okay, um, someone pointed out to me that several guests are walking in circles here, trying to uh, leave the park. Well, obviously uh, that's not going to happen if they just walk around here. So uh, probably the situation will already improve if we uh, make this little area inaccessible for guests. So I uh, will just put some uh, wooden planks here, so it still looks like we have the viewing area here. But I will simply uh, remove the parts here. That should uh, get these guests uh, out of here and onto the to the way to the exit. Okay, the guests uh, seem to have moved out of this area, so I think they have found their way uh, to the exit. The problem is that uh, in order to reach a target, guests will look ahead a certain amount of junctions. And the amount of junctions is probably too high um, for them to actually properly find the path to the exit. So then they will just uh, try to take the shortest path and then uh, they got stuck here in this uh, area. But right now it uh, seems to be okay again. Okay, there are a few buildings which could use, still use some uh, yeah, trim on the roofs. So uh, that one of the, uh, the buildings is this monorail, so that's what I'm going to do now. This roof here is still open and it could use some uh, decorations. Okay, I think that's a big improvement to the buildings I just uh, decorated. Alright, um, here's something uh, that I want to add to the Stampede roller coaster area. Um, there's these uh, Japanese trees, the Japanese snowball trees, and they work really well as uh, dry um, bushes. So let me quickly uh, find them. I will also have to uh, deselect something. Alright now, well, most uh, trees from the expansions are not particularly useful. There's a few, like the Japanese cherry blossom tree and the Japanese snowball tree uh, that work uh, quite well. This one I like to use as, uh, as uh, bushes. 
Now, unlike most other trees, uh, this one doesn't automatically rotate, so you'll have to do the rotation yourself. By default, you can use the Z key, or of course, this, uh, this button here. Okay, uh, while I'm busy in this area, I think I can also extend these towers up by a little bit and also add some hardline twisted track here to uh, finish up the top hat. Alright, um, something which I will think will be fun to have in the park is a plane flying high above the park. Uh, that will be quite easy to make, just an invisible track with a chain lift. And uh, change the ride to a crooked house to prevent it from breaking down. And uh, yeah, that will be it. You just need a good ride for the plane. Uh, I typically like using the seaplane for that. It's uh, one of the expansion uh, vehicle type, so I will first select that one. Okay, at the part where the track crossed itself, um, I have to prevent it from merging. So here I will simply change it into a dinghy slide and use the covered track and that should prevent it from uh, merging in the end. What's interesting is that for the water coaster it actually turns into a track with uh, water. So yeah, I can also just uh, use that in the future. Alright, now that I think of it, uh, these water splashes might not be the best idea. I don't know uh, if the flying boat will react to the to the water being here. So what I will do is uh, I will just uh, dip down the track a little bit. And, uh, that should uh, do the trick. Alright, uh, I've set the airplane to do uh, a few hundred circuits. Uh, it will never be inspected by any mechanics, so that's good. I set it to crooked house mode so it never breaks down. So now it will just uh, fly uh, over the park for the rest of uh, eternity. Okay, um, here's something else that I want to try. I want to have an access there for this uh, brake section here. And I'm gonna use a mini golf track for that. Okay, um, this flying coaster probably also will need uh, a catwalk under it, so uh, mechanics would be able to evacuate the guests if they would get stuck here on the on the lift.
right, I think this is a big improvement to the yeah, to the lift hill of these uh, flying coasters. It makes them look a lot more realistic, and uh, yeah, it also makes them look a bit more uh, massive. So, uh, in my opinion, this is uh, this is much nicer. All right, someone uh, told me that um, we probably need a little fence here to stop guests from uh, climbing through the support structure here. So, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, another last addition we can make here. Okay, um, that will be enough for this episode. Uh, there are still quite a few things that I want to polish in the next episode. Uh, one of those is that uh, I want to make this uh, body of water deeper and I want to add uh, tons of plants underwater and uh, some wildlife like uh, dolphins, uh, maybe some sharks, eels, stuff like that. And also uh, adding plants uh, in the rest of the in the rest of the park. Now, if you know anything else uh, which uh, still needs polishing, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I will see you again in the next episode. Now, before uh, we go. Uh, some people have asked me if we could take a tour through the park on the monorail. So uh, I think that will be a nice uh, way to end this episode.